Hello again, and welcome to Episode 3 of our series of Fun Things You Can Do with the MQX Photo Disk. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can use the photos on the photo disk as a slideshow that runs as your computer's screensaver. This way, when you get up from the computer for a few minutes, the screen will automatically switch to a slideshow of photos from the quilt show. Now, in order to do this, you have to have first copied the files off the MQX photo disk onto your hard drive. This was the topic of episode two of my series. So if you haven't already done that, you should go back to episode two now and complete the steps necessary to copy the images onto your hard drive. If you have already done that, then let's see how we can set this up. So to get started in setting up a screensaver, we're going to go to the Display Properties control panel. There's a couple ways to get there. One is from the Start Menu, Settings, Control Panels. Double-click on that. And we get the list of all the control panels, and we want the Display Control Panel, which comes up as you see. Um, of course, there's more than one way to get there. Another popular way to get there is to use the Start Menu again, in the Settings Menu, Control Panels, and there's the display control panel as well. Or um, sometimes the most convenient is we simply right click on the desktop and say properties and we get the control panel as well. Now what we're going to do in here is choose the screensaver panel and off the screensaver tab we're going to change our screensaver type from whatever it currently is to be a my picture slideshow. Then we're going to change the settings of the My Pictures slideshow. And we're going to choose the directory where we previously loaded the MQX photo disk photos. Now, it may or may not come up on My Pictures, but just to show you how to get there, I'm going to start by clicking on My Documents. Open that up. Then within My Documents, I'll scroll down and find um, My Pictures. There it is. Open that up with the little plus sign. Within my pictures, I have the place where I copy the MQX 2010 DVD ROM contents. Now I'll open that up. Inside there, there's a folder called MQX 2010. We'll open that up. And in here, there's a folder called Quilts, and I'll open that up. And the folder we want to use is the one in Quilts called Master. And we'll click OK on that and then it will have access to all of the quilt photos. Now, as far as the other options here, how big should they be? 100% of the screen is fine with me. How often should the pictures change? Oh, probably about 10 seconds is good. Um, as for stretch small pictures, no, these pictures are all quite large. I don't really want to show the file names. Um, transition effects might be interesting. Um, that would be cross-fading between the pictures, that sort of thing. And of course, I'd like to allow to scroll through pictures with a keyboard so that I can do the slideshow. Now, there's a few more settings on here. Um, the interesting one is this wait. This is how long do you wait after you've left the computer idle before the screensaver will kick in. 3,600 minutes is a long time. I'm going to set that to, say, you know, 15 minutes. So if I were to wander away from the computer for 15 minutes, the slideshow will automatically come up. I'm going to click Apply to make it the current slideshow. And since I don't want to wait 15 minutes to see these pictures, I'm going to click on Preview so that we can actually see the slideshow in effect. And you recall I had set it up so that you can click the arrow keys while the screensaver is operational. So I'll do that cycle through a couple of these quilt pictures. And so this is what will happen every 10 seconds or so. It will make a transition into a new quilt. There's quite a few pictures in this folder. It will be a long time before you see the same picture twice. If you wiggle the mouse or press any key other than an arrow key, it will wake up from the screensaver and return you back to whatever you were doing. What we were doing was editing the screensaver properties and we'll say OK and we're done. 
So now we have the computer set up so that if it sits idle for 15 minutes, it will automatically start displaying a slideshow of quilts from MQX 2010. So that concludes episode three. Um, I hope that you get some enjoyment out of it, and I hope that you'll stay tuned for episode four, where I believe things will start to get even more exciting. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the future.